Bush tax cuts. Now, the bill is going to the floor for a vote uh, today, but Congressman Mike Pence also saying that he will vote no on this bill. He says extending the tax cuts permanently would be the only way to go, the only way that he would vote for this. Uh, so good morning and welcome to Indiana Congressman Mike Pence. Joins me now. Morning, How are you doing? Uh, I, I'm fine. You know, I think a lot of people look at this situation. They say, you know, Republicans have said over and over that the Democrats aren't willing to work with them. Democrats said there is no way we will extend the Bush tax cuts for the wealthy. They went, many would say, halfway. They, they said we're going to extend them for two years. So how come Republicans can't get on board with that? Well, look, it, it's a fair question, and I, I want to acknowledge this is a tough call. You know, I spent the last week really, you know, reflecting on this decision because, Martha, as you know, I've been championing uh, the effort for the last six months to make sure that no American sees a tax increase in January. But in the final analysis, uh, I, I really believe that this tax deal coming over from the Senate uh, is a bad deal for taxpayers, uh, and it will do very little to create jobs, and I can't support it. So it looks like it's going to pass. Do you think it's going to pass whether you vote for it or not? Well, I, I don't know. You know, I went to the Rules Committee last night. I was flanked by Democrats and Republicans uh, who have concerns about this bill. And, and the one thing we all agreed on was you look, look at the Constitution. Under Article 1, Section 7, it says that all bills regarding revenue or taxes are to originate in the House of Representatives. We right. actually, liberals and conservatives, all agreed on that point. And we, we were all saying, wh why are we getting this take it or leave it deal that was largely crafted between the Senate and the White House? Let the, let the Congress work its will. I offered an amendment, Jim DeMint did in the Senate, that would uh, allow people to vote on making all the tax rates permanent. I, I just think, look, we don't have a temporary economy. Uh, and, and a two-year extension of tax rates is simply not going to encourage the kind of investment and, and, uh, and capital formation that's going to create jobs. Yeah, it seems like the market has responded positively to that news uh, for the two-year tax extension. Uh, I heard you say earlier today that you, know, you spoke to uh, some business folks out there who say that it undermines their confidence. But, you know, I, I think what the bigger picture here is to me is where, what kind of Congress are we heading into in January? You know, are, are folks, are Republicans and fiscal conservatives, more importantly, are, are you going to be able to rally people to, to your line of thinking, and I know you've tried really hard to do that, uh, to really have a whole new way of doing business that we're simply not going to stand for more spending and we're not going to stand for the kind of earmarks that we're seeing in this omnibus bill? And is there the support yeah. for real radical change right now in, in, with regard to that? Or, or is, is compromise, you know, and sort of more of the same the way we're headed? Well, I, I think that really is the right question. And I, I look, I don't think there's anything radical about having a federal government that starts to live within our means. I don't think there's anything radical about saying that we ought to have a permanent tax code in place that people can plan on. In terms of the Congress that's coming, I don't think it's going to be about whether the Congress can rally the American people. I think it's the other way around. The question is, are, are, is the Congress going to respond to what the American people said in deafening terms on November the 2nd, which was, for heaven's sakes, put your fiscal house in order, stop all the runaway spending, the deficits, the debt, the bailouts, and the takeovers, give us some certainty in the tax code, and we'll get this economy and get, get businesses working again. I, I just think what, what, what's disappointing to millions of people about this so-called tax deal, Martha, what's disappointing about that pork-laden omnibus bill that's moving through the Senate is after the American people said, change right. business as usual, no, we change management, here's, here's more of the same. And, and, you know, my view is, if not now, when? Let's take a stand right here, right now. Let's demand a better deal for the American people that will really create jobs and uh, do it in a fiscally responsible way. That, that is the question. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, Congressman Pence, thank you very much. Good to have you here today. Thank you, Martha. We'll talk to you soon. Got some breaking news.